So I've been following some of the coverage of the World Economic Forum in Davos this week and it prompted me to share a message with you that I shared with the team and that is that the future is human and that uniquely human skills will go a long way to helping us solve some of the issues uh, that we have uh, in society, uh, as a planet, uh, as people um, at a more sort of a macro level, um, but also help organisations transform the way that they want to transform and for us as individuals help us have the careers and the lives that we want. These uniquely human skills are uh, skills that all of us have to some degree but none of us have to a full degree and they're skills that we can always sharpen and there are three I guess big areas where I think uniquely human skills are in more demand uh, because they're more relevant. The future is human more than ever at a world level, at a, at a, at a macro level. We face a whole set of challenges uh, that are diverse, uh, that are complex, uh, that are far-reaching. You look at the agenda at Davos um, at the World Economic Forum this week and the themes are overwhelmingly around things like ecology, uh, economy, uh, society, um, issues around technology. The top five risks that they believe the world faces in the next 10 years are all climate related and it's these types of complex, diverse, far-reaching issues that need more than just technical knowledge, that more, they need more than just academic uh, research to, uh, to solve. It is uniquely human skills like leading with purpose, uh, complex problem solving, uh, resilience and grit over time to move through some of these, these challenges and issues, and building inclusive uh, and diverse teams, uh, collaboration, that are going to make all the difference. The future is human more than ever for businesses and organisations. Uh, yesterday, I watched a, uh, a live um, stream of the global chairman of PwC releasing the annual uh, CEO survey for 2020. Four big themes came through, uh, and those themes were around uncertainty and ambiguity, uh, cyber-related uh, issues, um, the third one was around upskilling uh, and developing their workforce. And then the fourth one was the real risks and opportunities that are associated uh, with climate change. It's very, very clear that those four themes, challenges, opportunities, will be aided uh, an incredible amount by the right type of uniquely human skills uh, that can help turn those um, challenges into opportunities, um, overcome them, make the most of them, increase revenue as a result, and focus on the needs of both uh, people and profit. The future is also more human than ever for individuals, for people like you and I, be it in our careers, um, in helping us through the transitions that we want to make or are being asked to make, uh, or at home, uh, or maybe just with ourselves. Mental health is a massive issue. In the UK, for example, uh, three in five young people have experienced a mental health challenge or know someone who has. And we all know it's not just a young person uh, issue. This is something that affects people both young and old. And the impacts uh, of that also feed back out into the organisations that they work for and that we work for as well. Deloitte just released a report recently uh, that uh, equated $45 billion of cost to employers up 16% uh, since 2016. So there's an economic cost and a real personal cost too. There are uniquely human skills that can go a way to helping. I'm super excited um, about 2020 and the next decade towards 2030. The uniquely human skills are as relevant and more in demand than they've ever been there. That are a world level tackling complex issues like climate change, at organisational levels tackling issues around upskilling workforces and digital transformations and, and others and at an individual personal level for, for people like you and I and, and being able to be the best versions of ourselves day to day.